All right, hands up if you recently bought your brand new DJI Avata, took it for its first flight, and figured out very quickly that there was something terribly wrong with the transmission. Yep, I think by looking around the internet, the forums and YouTube and things like that, I think it's very common knowledge that if you're outside the US, this thing is severely crippled. Well, not so much the drone, it's actually the goggles. So I have only flown this twice now, but the first time I took it out, uh, I flew it about 150 meters away from me, behind a couple of trees, and the signal went from 50 megabits a second right the way down to about two or three, and almost dropped out. And I thought, this cannot be right. This is absolutely crazy that a drone that was uh, at least rated for two kilometers in CE zones, which are pretty much anywhere outside the US, um, would only go about 150 meters. So I consulted the internet, and a bunch of you are having the same issues. Now, some legends, luckily, at a website called uh, Beyond, um, I'll put the link above, and I'm gonna show you how to do this in a minute, have come up with a free uh, hack in order to unlock the full potential of this drone. Um, and I think what it does is it just tricks the goggles into thinking it's in an FCC zone, um, giving it the full power it needs. I just got back from testing it. It's now coming up to 9 p.m. I just thought I was gonna make this really quick video just to show you how you can do the same and show you really how, how crippled this drone is. Um, the difference is night and day. So let's just jump into the quick tutorial, show you the hack, show you the differences between both CE and FCC mode, and hopefully you can take something away from it. So uh, let's jump into it. All right, so once you open the website, link is in the description, you'll be presented with this screen that explains why the hack is required if you're not in an FCC zone. The hack itself is super simple. All you need to do is download the zero byte file from this link, format your micro SD card in the goggles, then transfer the downloaded file onto the root of that SD card, pop the card back into the goggles, and voila, the hack is complete. Just note the warning here, if you're running this firmware or above, it's not gonna work as of now, so just double check that. You'll know you're in FCC mode by switching the channel from auto to manual in the goggles, and when 40 hertz is selected, you should have three channels appear. You'll also know it's working because when you fly, you'll get far superior range as I'm about to demonstrate now. Okay, so this footage is from my first flight. Keep an eye on the goggle signal in the bottom right of the screen and the distance in the bottom left. As I reach around 150 meters, the signal has dropped to three megabits per second and I almost lost the transmission. Now this footage is from a few hours ago, my second flight with the Avata, same location, but with the hack applied. As you can see, I reached around 400 meters with the signal only dropping to 41 megabits per second, a huge difference. I didn't push the range test further as the wind was pretty bad and I was losing light fast, but to me, the difference is night and day. Now, just a disclaimer, I don't condone hacking your drone. In fact, I think it's crazy that we even have to, but it is your choice at the end of the day. All right, so I hope you found that useful. It certainly has made me feel a whole lot better about owning this drone. And um, once again, a massive thank you to the guys that found this, this hack and uh, yeah, really appreciate it. Once again, if you're in the US, you don't need to do any of this because you are lucky and your uh, goggles transmission aren't crippled. But anywhere that runs CE mode, whack this uh, file on the SD card in your goggles. Make sure you're obviously not on that latest firmware like I mentioned in the video, and uh, you'll notice a massive difference. So, Happy flying and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.